Have you ever had a rifle or machine gun that seems more accurate at longer range than it does at 100 meters, or is just not accurate at all? Let's have a talk about that. So from an earlier lesson, we know that when a cartridge is fired, it sets up a shock wave that travels down the barrel in the form of a vibration. And these vibrations happen mainly in the vertical plane. With this in mind, here's a barrel shown in black at its mid-plane position of vibration. In green is the upwards travel, the upper position of vibration, and in red here is the lower position of vibration. So mid-plane, upper plane, and lower plane in red. The upwards travel of vibration we will call positive vibration. And the downwards travel of vibration we will call negative vibration. Now let's have a look at what happens to projectiles that exit the muzzle during positive vibration, the upwards travel of the muzzle. Keeping in mind that there is nearly always a variation in velocity between projectiles from shot to shot. If a projectile of average velocity exits the barrel, at the mid-plane point, we could have a trajectory like this. Now a projectile of higher velocity would exit the barrel sooner due to its higher velocity, but because of that extra speed, it would have a flatter trajectory. And it would intersect the trajectory of the first projectile here. Now a projectile of lower velocity would exit the muzzle later, but because of its lower speed, it would have a more curved trajectory, more like this. And it would intersect the first two trajectories here. This is known as the compensating point, and it's found at the range at which the weapon is most accurate, which may not always be closer to the muzzle. Now what happens if the projectiles are exiting during negative vibration, the downwards travel of the muzzle? Well, the opposite occurs. The projectiles with a higher velocity exit before mid-plane, and the projectiles with the lower velocity exit after mid-plane, meaning that their trajectories tend to diverge rather than converge. You'll never have an accurate weapon if your projectiles are exiting during negative vibration, unless your velocities are near identical. This barrel vibration is sometimes referred to as harmonics or whip, and when we learn about the factors that affect vibration, we'll see that they can be altered in an effort to achieve this rather than this. Hey guys, my name's Scott from Arms Logic, and if you enjoyed this and want to learn more about modern small arms from a military perspective, please check out the link, and I'll see you inside.